episode of Alex's Toy Show with, with Feisty Pants. I am absolutely pumped for spring training games to start today. Today is a new day! Yes, it is! Um, did you like what I did there? Yeah. Ah, uh, you see what I did? Okay. Um, last week I covered the entire National League. It's going to come down to the Mets and the Cubs to this week. And the next two weeks are going to do the American League, East, Central, and West. We do the East this week because that's where the Yankees are. Now, last year, uh, Toronto took the uh, took the East. They were 93-69, and 69, took first place. Yankees were second place, six games out, 87-75. Baltimore, 12 games out. Tampa Bay, 13 games out. And Boston in the cellar at 15 games out. Now... They say the East is the most intense division out of all of baseball, but not so much last year. Toronto um, kind of ran away with it. I mean, Yankees were leading. It was kind of close. And then, you know, trade deadline, Toronto picks up Tulowitzki. They pick up David Price. They pick up Ben Revere. And all of a sudden, they start winning games. And it's like, um, not even that Encarnacion and Jose Bautista. Hey, Joey Bats. Jose Bautista follows me on uh, Twitter. It's awesome. I just I looked one day. I was like, "That's jo that's Jose Bautista." <gasps> um. So anyway, not to say that they weren't enough on the team already, but they pick up Tulowitzki. They pick up Ben Revere. Like I said, they trade for uh, David Price. Three big trades, and all of a sudden, you know, there's a World Series in their future. Um. Now they didn't win it. Uh, you know, Kansas City stole the show. But Toronto put up a good fight, you know, and they uh, they took out the they took out the Yankees out of first place. Uh, they ran away with the East, you know. Um, so here here is now here is my predictions for the East because as great as Toronto was with David Price, they weren't going to retain him. He went to Boston. Now Boston has legit chance to go from worst to first this year. Uh, Boston, you know, key uh, some key offense for Boston. Hanley Ramirez, in my opinion, needs to produce. Um, you know, he was a uh, incredible, you know, first couple of years, rookie, first couple of years, you know, sophomore year and all. Um, he needs to produce, in my opinion. David Ortiz, this is his final year. He's looking pretty good. He's ready to play. Dustin Pedroia stays healthy. I think he can perform. Mookie Betts, if he can repeat what he did last year, not too bad. Chris Young is coming off some success with the Yankees. And, you know, everybody's favorite is Jackie Bradley Jr. Um, now their rotation, David Price, not too shabby. Clay Buckles, Eduardo Rodriguez, um, My no, Miley shipped out. Joe Kelly and Rick Ricky Porcello. Now, they were a lackluster rotation last year. I think there was a lot of injuries. I think there was a lot of, you know, misfortune on that team. I've seen them at the top of their game, and they are fierce. You know, there is there is no other rivalry like the Yankees and the Red Sox, and there's a reason why. Now, Koji Uhara, you know, he shut down um, 25 saves, He you know, he, he picked up last year. But they traded for Craig, Craig Kimbrell, and um, he's no joke either. So I think the Red Sox have some potential. Um, I, like, I like Baltimore's chances. Uh, they have a good rotation with uh, everybody they had last year. Chris Tillman was 11-11. Ubaldo Jimenez was 12 and 10. Uh, Wayne Chen, they picked, they they traded or they signed? I don't have that there. <laughs> he was 11 and 8. Miguel Gonzalez, 9 and 12. Now, with some offense behind them, those could turn into, you know, better records. Zach Britton didn't do too shabby, 36 saves last year. Um, they bring back Chris Davis. Adam Jones is, you know, Adam Jones. Adam Jones doesn't stop playing baseball. And they traded for Mark Trumbo. Now, Mark Trumbo goes from, uh, you know, big rookie prospect to not performing because of, what, a platoon or whatever happened in the Angels? I mean, the Angels, I don't know. The Angels seem to have, like, great on paper, and then they suck uh, in real life. I mean, you know, and then he goes to Seattle. No, Seattle is where, like, people go to die, unless you're named Ken Griffey Jr., um, I, li I like Baltimore's chances. Um, to go back to Toronto, you know, uh, they, they just don't have David Price. Now, their offense is pretty good. 
Josh Donaldson won the MVP. He's no, he's no joke. Um, Bautista, Tulowitzki, and Carnacion, that's a solid offense right there. You don't even need anybody else. They could just be like four guys in the in the batting order. Where's the rest of your batting order? Oh, we don't need anybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> they could pull that off. Um, but R.A. Dickey, uh, Estrada, Hutchinson, Sanchez, a couple other guys need to really step up their game. And if they can turn into like a mini ace in them in their selves, you know, um, Osuna can keep closing games. Looks like they, I don't, I, you know, I didn't follow the team too well. I see Cecil had a couple of saves. I don't know if he got hurt or if he just sucks. I know he's been around. He might have retired. I'm not even sure. I'm making stuff up at this point. But Osuna's got 20 saves with the team. And, um, you know, if they could turn those pitchers into into mini aces, they, they have a solid chance. I really like this division. Now, um, I love Evan Longoria to death. But that seems to be all that the Rays have going for them in the way of offense. Uh, they have a bunch of other guys that uh, that kind of produce at an average level, and they seem to win games with average production. That's not bad. I mean, if it's working for you, right? Uh, they were 80 and 82. They were just under 500 last year. 13 games out, but I mean, Toronto just blew away the race. Now, they have a, a really young staff. Uh, Chris Archer was 12 and 13 last year. Uh, Ramirez was 11 and 6. Everybody else was in single digit wins, led by Odorizzi. He, had, he was 9 and 9 last year. Everybody else was less than 9 wins. Boxberger had 41 saves, though. I mean, something's going right. They're missing a piece. I, I don't know what it is exactly. I think it lies more to do with, like, an ace and some offense. And I think they could go places. And then the Yankees. If the Yankees could stay healthy. Holy crap. Um, A-Rod had an incredible last year. If he could have an equal or greater year this year and ride off into the sunset, I think he could do it. I really think he could do it. What I don't think is I don't think that Mark Teixeira can stay healthy for the whole year. And that's sad because I love Teixeira ever since he came to the Yankees. Uh, before the Yankees, I, I was like, oh, it's that Teixeira guy. He's going to rip us apart. And then they signed him. And I'm like, oh, they, they picked up Teixeira. That's great. And, and now we can't stay healthy to play a full season. Um, Greg Bird, you know, who was like the heir apparent to first base, he's out for the whole season with shoulder surgery. So if Teixeira goes down... I guess they're trading for somebody, you know, midseason because um, I don't know who else they'd get to play first base. Now, Didi Gregorius and A-Rod, they, if they can repeat their years last year, that'd be all right. If Ellsbury and Gardner can turn around their, you know, half offense into some production, I'd be okay with that. Um, Aaron Judge needs to come up to the majors, okay? Starlin Castro, if he performs at all, beautiful. Uh, the only thing I don't like is uh, Chase Headley. And his insane amount of errors. I'm like, how do you make that many errors in the field and have a major league job? I don't know. But they love him in the clubhouse. They don't, you know, they don't mind his offense. I mean, he's no slouch. The guy can clearly play ball. He just can't field it. <laughs> I don't know. Now you look at their rotation, right? Nathan Avaldi, 14 and three last year, and then he got hurt at the very end. Uh, Tanaka, 12 and seven. Kind of, you know, extra days rest here and there. Pineda went down, I think, mid-season and then came back up, 12 and 10. Nova, <sighs> start of the season hurt. I don't think he ever really recovered. He was 6 and 11. Worst, worst record, worst year he's ever had in the majors. Hasn't had that many in the majors, but it was definitely the worst last year. Severino, late season dream, 5 and 3, right? Sabathia, 6 and 10. Uh, worst worst year of his career. Now, uh, he got healthy. He, they wrapped up the knee, and he's, like, back to regular form with the wrapped up knee. If he can keep that, keep that, and everybody else goes to, you know, three quarters of expectations, I could easily see them going to a six-man rotation, keep everybody, like, an extra day's rest, and uh, people stay healthy, and then you bring in the bullpen. You got Dylan Patances, you got Paul Miller, Andrew Miller, who's Paul Miller? Andrew Miller, Oraldus Chapman. Now, the Yankees did absolutely nothing in the offseason except for trade two major trades. Starling Castro, Oraldus Chapman. 
Not too shabby. Oh, and I'm sorry, they traded for Aaron Hicks. I forgot about Aaron Hicks. Um, I like Aaron Hicks off the bench, like fourth, fourth outfielder maybe. Um, but two big trades right there, Chapman and Starlin Castro. And I think between the three of them, Batances, Miller, and Chapman, starters go five innings. I think it's I think it's locked down. I think it's a win. <laughs> now, as far as as far as how the league falls. Toronto led it last year. The Yankees were six games out. Baltimore, 12 games out. Tampa Bay, 13. And Boston in the cellar at 15. I like everybody's chances, except for Tampa Bay. I don't think they have enough going for them to take the division. But the other four teams, I think they have it. If, if each of them have a big piece fall into play. Boston, as long as everybody stays healthy, I think they can do it. The Yankees, if everybody stays healthy... I think they can do it. Toronto, if there's if their pitchers step up into mini aces, I think they can do it. And Baltimore, if their pitchers perform three quarters of the way, I think they can do it. So how do you pick this? This is how I pick it. Yankees, Red Sox, all the way down. Baltimore, third place. Toronto, fourth place. Not by much. You know, maybe Toronto, third. Baltimore, fourth. That could go either way, I think. But definitely Tampa Bay in the cellar. Um, Yankees, Red Sox, both go to the postseason uh, playoffs. Um, I would love to see the Yankees take it in the World Series. I would love to see it. Yankees Mets, Yankees Cubs. Um, it would be it would be great either way. Uh, and that is my picks. Uh, next week, we're going to do the AL Central. I got some base notes here. I got to fill in some serious notes like I did on the front here for the East. And uh, next week, we'll do the Central. And then the following week, we'll do the West. And then we'll figure out something for the right for the regular season. Um, leave me some comments. Let's talk about something. Uh, like this video and subscribe for more.